Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Before sharing a workbook, you'll want to make sure it doesn't include any spelling errors. Now, fortunately, Excel includes a spell check tool you can use to make sure everything in your workbook is spelled correctly. Now, if you've used the spell check feature in Microsoft Word, just be aware that the spell check tool in Excel, while helpful, is not as powerful. For example, it won't check for grammar issues or check spelling as you type. Now, to use spell check, go to the review tab, then click on the spelling command. Now, the spelling dialog box will appear, and for each spelling error in your worksheet, spell check will try to offer suggestion for the correct spelling. Choose a suggestion, then click change to correct the error. Now, at times, there are no appropriate suggestions. You can also choose to enter the correct spelling manually. So, if you can see over here, I wanted to write crab, but I don't have that suggestion in here. So, I can come here and type it instead. Crab, then click change, and it will be changed. Now, uh, spell check isn't always correct. It will sometimes mark certain words as incorrect even if they are spelled correctly. Now this often happens with names which may not be in the dictionary. Now you can choose not to change a spelling error using one of the following three options. We have ignore once, which will skip the word without changing it. You can ignore all. Now this will skip the word without changing it and also skip all other instances of the word in your worksheet. Then we have add to dictionary. Now this adds the word to the dictionary so it will never appear as an error again. Now make sure the word is spelled correctly before choosing this option. So I don't want to change that to correct that. So I'll just say ignore all and all will be ignored. Again, I'll say ignore all because it was well spelled. Uh, for this one, I'll change. And you can also choose to change all, so it will change all, then continue editing. Then once you're done, click close, and the spell check will be complete and you're good to go.